Gemini, the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So two pentacles, this is the biggest part of your, the theme of your reading is dealing with money, of course. The Knight of Pentacles comes to us with a feeling reversed of, is something being taken away? Is something being, you know, the carrot in front of the horse? I feel that there's, there's something that you might be looking at. Say this is a relationship. You might be looking at this and this person comes in and, and you're like, oh, this is wonderful. Um, but then they pull back and you don't hear from them. And it's like, well, what is this? You're, you're coming into my life, but then I don't hear from you. Um, what do I have to do? Therefore, it goes to into your protective mode. So I know these are pentacles, Gemini, but I keep feeling that there's a lot here that's dealing with emotions too and holding on because you're, you don't want to give a whole lot of your heart. You don't want to give a whole lot of your space or your time because this person is coming in and saying, you know what? Here I am. No, I'm not. Here I am. No, I'm not. And you're going, oh, I'm not, a, I'm going to protect myself. I'm not going to spill too many beans about who I am or what I do because I don't know where this person is coming from. But what is also telling me because the Ace of Swords is reversed is that there is really no conflict. The only conflict I feel, Gemini, is in your own mind. So the swords are challenges. Okay, and this is coming, this is the, the, the trouble that you perceive, and then the hand of God coming out of the cloud. But I feel, because this is reversed, the crown is first. So you're looking at it like this is, this is all in the mind, all in the mind. If you notice, in the four pentacles, this person has this crown on too. So you're thinking, you're thinking, thinking, thinking. And sometimes you might be thinking too much. Because the knight of pentacles is someone who is very good. He's very trustworthy. He's, he's a good provider. Um, if we're talking about jobs too, it's the same thing. Um, when I'm looking at this, you know, they might be saying, well, we'll offer you this, but you can't start for two months. Or we'll offer you this, but we're going to start you at a lower rate. Well, I'm not, you know, that sounds good, but, you know, maybe I should just keep looking. But again, this is something that's coming out of the blue. And are you going to stay in your head and discount it? Or are you going to go for it? So if we're talking about jobs or relationships, it's a thing that you're not so sure about. You're going, ah, I don't know. I don't like this. You know, I don't like not knowing where this person or this offer is coming from. But that's okay, Gemini, because we're going to get some clarifiers on this because I feel the Knight of Pentacles is worth it. So it's the person, the offer, um, whatever it is that has been presented to you, to you and then you feel like it has been taken back, I feel it is worth it. And we're just going to see. So what can we clarify with the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini? <clears throat> you have the Nine of Cups. Oh, it is so worth it, Gemini. Because... You have this person coming in and say, hey, what is it that you want? I'll bring you anything that you want. Because this is a servant. This is the, the person that is looking after you. And you're going, okay, I'll take this, 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 and this. I mean, you have the, you have the water, you have the food, you have the full cups behind you, and you have this person that is at your beck and call. So I feel this person really, really wants you. And it's the job, too, that really, really wants you. But maybe they're getting everything in order in order to present it to you. 
What is a clarifier for the Four of Pentacles? Okay, you're feeling, this is the Page of Wands, you're still feeling like, well, I might as well just go on on my own because this isn't going to work out. It's not going to work out, but if you notice, the clouds are kind of behind you. This person is going, but, you know, I'm here. Why are you walking away? I'm here. Look at all the things that we could make together or that I've made, and you're walking away from it. That's where this fear is right here with the four of pentacles that I'm picking up here. You're going, well, I don't know. I might as well just, you know, kick it to the curb right now. Because why? Because you're afraid. Afraid of what? Maybe it's not going to turn out the same way. Maybe you feel like you're getting mixed messages. Whatever it is, you're ready to throw in the towel. And I'm telling you, don't. Because this Ace of Swords, again, you're in your, your head. Let's get a clarifier for this. The Ten of Wands. It's making you tired. You're looking at it like, okay, fine. I'm putting down in the regular tarot, the person is carrying the wands. They're actually pushing them forward. And this one, you're going, okay, fine. I'll get out of my head. I'll rest. I'll, you know, put down all of these excuses. These are excuses, Gemini. I'm going to put down all these excuses, but I'm going to have one of them, you know, just to rest my head against. Because I can't just totally give up right now. I have to know that there is one thing that I will not, you know, compromise on. That all the other stuff, you know, I'm going to give the person or the, the, the job or whatever a break. And just see what comes out of this. Oh, I can't wait to see what comes out of this for you, Gemini. So... What is the ultimate outcome for Gemini with the Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups? What's coming to you ultimately? Ah, you're going to see the light, Gemini. You're going to see the light. Because I feel what's going on is your... I don't even want to say eventually. I feel... That you're going to see all the benefits that this night has for you. And that that's why I say you're going to see the light. Because the hermit has that light. You know, he's lighting up these two things. You know, your, your fears. So you're going to see the light. What is the ultimate outcome from the Four of Pentacles and the Page of Wands? Oh, yes. Movement. So, when you say, okay, fine, I'll just relax. I see the light. You know, do I really want to walk away? Do I really want to hold on really tightly? No, because I feel that what you're going to do, Gemini, is you're going to start moving. So, whether this is literal or figuratively i mean some of you might have to take a job that is out of state do i really want to do that yeah i think so because i feel it's really going to improve everything if this is a relationship i feel the relationship is going to get back on track to where you feel comfortable enough you know we all have our deal breakers but you need this person to step up to the plate and say, this, I, I need to know where do you stand? What's going on? Um, you know, what, what's going on with this? And when that happens, then movement. What is the ultimate outcome with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Wands? You have the Devil. Okay, so the Devil is about you're supposed to be together. Okay, a lot of people read the devil as, 
as you're tied to someone and it's not a good thing. Um, you know, you might be addictions in there or, you know, however you want to look at this. But with this, I kind of see that you're tied. You're supposed to be doing this. And then until you say, okay, I don't want it anymore or I am going to make it good and get rid of this. So it's going to be, you know, a good relationship. It's going to be a good job. It's going to be, you know, all of the things, the excuses that I've put down are going to go away because I feel like I need to be with this person. I mean, it could have been even better if you would have got the lovers, but let me see what's at the bottom of the cards. The magician and the two of cups. Okay, so I'm looking at the bottom of these cards. I have the two of cups, which is the contract card, the marriage card, and on the regular tarot, it is the magician at the bottom of the deck. So you know what? Heaven is helping you. Heaven is giving you what it is that you have prayed about, that you have put out to the universe, that you have said, you know, I really, really, really want this. They've moved everything. They've used all the tools that they have to get you this. And now that's why I said, it would be a great idea to give the Knight of Pentacles a chance. Thank you so much, Gemini, for joining me.